So I know that during the oral portion of the instrument check ride, I'll be asked to talk quite a bit about aviation weather. In one topic I want to be prepared to discuss is air mets. Um, a question that I anticipate getting is, if there is an air met for icing, can we fly today? The answer to that question is not necessarily no, but as I understand it, I'll need to be able to give some information to back that up. I can't just say, well, maybe, maybe not. I'll tell the examiner that I know that for an authority to issue an air met, the condition must be widespread, and widespread means 3,000 miles, square miles. Um, because conditions can move across the area, it's possible that only a small portion of the area is affected. Nonetheless, even if I'm flying in VFR conditions because of freezing rain, um, I'm going to take any air met for icing seriously. Examples of when we might fly when there is an air met Zulu is if there is icing but there are no clouds in the area we're planning on flying. Or if there is an air met for icing but it is at 15,000 feet and we're planning on flying at 3,000 feet. If there is an air met for icing, obviously we have to stay out of clouds and visible moisture. Even if there are no clouds, we need to be careful about freezing rain, which could also be um, another big problem. Um, pilot reports on cloud bases and tops are also a good input on whether or not I would consider flying. 